Oh, right this moment, you're seeing a lot of Democrats push this, as Biden said, it's not defund the police, it's fund the police. But somebody named Stooge Report, <laughs> luckily, decided to put all the clips together of Democrats saying defund the police, including our vice president, praise God, Dark Brendan Go. So we've been talking about defunding the police. Uh, there's some issues that we ask police to do, like mental health issues or policing in schools and all the rest, that perhaps we can uh, shuffle some of that money around. Suck it up. Defunding the police has to happen. We need to defund the police. Mayor Eric Garcetti saying, take some of the money from policing, about $150 million. I applaud Eric Garcetti for doing what he's done. Not only do we need to disinvest for in police, but we need to completely dismantle the Minneapolis Police Department. So yes, defund your butts, defund you. Yes, I support the reallocation of resources uh, from NYPD. We will be moving funding from the NYPD to youth initiatives and social services. They are talking about reducing uh, the allocation of resources to that department. And I think every single city in this country ought to be thinking about the same thing. Yes, I support the defund movement. I'm for responsible reallocation of resources. And defund the police. I think you do all those other things, you don't need all the money that's going to the police department. So yeah, I mean, the spirit of it, I, I, I do support that. Yeah, and you know, a lot of us were asked if we could imagine a future without police back in 2017 when we, when we were running for office. And I answered yes to that question. We are gonna reduce funding in the police department and redirect that money. There's no reason the police budget should just keep growing and growing and growing. Papa says, Democrats, literally uh, every single clip you just showed is taken out of context with the hallmarks of a Trumpist Russian disinformation, misinformation, population, democracy. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, we have what we like to call in, in the, you know, the creative community receipts. Okay. And we're not done. This is a pretty long video. So strap in. But I think it's important for you and me to remember when Biden starts talking about funding the police. He's what I like to call in, the, in politics or corporate media or just everyday life a liar. Gretchen Whitner staged her own kidnapping FBI. I know that whole FBI thing and Gretchen Whitner and some of the agents actually sleeping with some informants and stuff. That is like another reason that you should trust the FBI with your heart, soul, and mind. It's amazing that people like the gymnasts that were sexually abused and they went to the FBI and stuff like that and the FBI did absolutely nothing. Now they're like, yeah, you know what? I trust the FBI. They can make sensible cuts to police. We propose to redirect over $7 million to the police bureau. That our city, our city administrative officer identified $250 million in cuts. Rashida Tlaib tweeting, no more policing, incarceration, and militarization. It can't be reformed. When they're saying defund the police, what are they saying? They're saying we want fundamental, basic change when it comes to policing. No, that's what you call trying to change the narrative, Cuomo, but continue. Uh, and they're right. We are reallocating funds. By the way, how is Cuomo doing? How is he doing in New York? I'm sure he's running that thing like a freaking... Conductor. The, the police department here in Minneapolis needs to be dismantled, and we need to start... Dismantled! Some dismantled. Oh, Joey O'Rourke. Come on, this guy. We are reallocating Francis. funds. The, the police department here in Minneapolis needs to be dismantled, and we need to start... Dismantled! In, in some necessary cases, completely dismantling those police forces. Police departments uh, are taking a sizable... Uh, amount of the budget of a lot of municipalities and, and other entities. Uh, we need to look at those budgets, pull some of the money back, and invest it in other things. We are committed <laughs> to shifting resources. Our calls to defund the police have been met with resistance. To stop investing so much money in this militarized police force and instead invest in the things that our community really needs. Yeah. Uh, you know what? That last part, though, I did agree with her. As a libertarian, the military, the police force, we could talk about that all day long. But let's continue down this this rabbit hole. I mean, it just it just tastes so sweet. Yes, I support a radical reimagining 
of community safety and public safety. I do believe that we need to ra- reallocate resources away. And will this involve cuts? Yes, of course. To every department, including the police department. And so when we dismantle it, we get rid of that cancer. When we say defund the police, the world woke up. I, I really love that uh, Black Lives Matters and uh, other protesters have put this front and center to defund. Defunding police means defunding police. If these reports are accurate, then these proposed cuts to the NYPD budget are a disingenuous illusion. This is not a victory. The freshman Democrat adding the fight to defund policing will continue. We are going to reimagine policing in New York City. I think the idea of having a police free future is very aspirational. And I am willing to stand with community members who are asking us to think of that as the goal. Should be defunding or dismantling their police departments, such as in Minneapolis and and New York. My answer is yes to that. We need to be looking at it clearly. Which means reallocating Mm -hmm. um, and, and not further investing in a carceral state. Going through a process of dismantling that institution. So defunding the police, um, for me, it means a reallocation of funds. Why use the word defund? Why use the word defund? And it's like, this is the word that's coming from the streets, you know? We're going to dissolve the gun violence reduction team, the school resource officer program, and the transit specialty units. You don't have one bad apple. You don't have four bad apples. You, you have a, a system-wide problem in that police department, and only by completely dismantling that system and rebuilding it intentionally with the community members at the table, do you have any hope of, of getting it right? Coming together as a community. I just can't do it anymore. It's just so silly. I just... So when Biden is going to continuously, consistently say, we should fund the police, we should fund the police, it's not defund the police, we should fund the police, it's just... They're trying to change the narrative from what they were standing on when Trump was in office. And they're trying to make it seem they're just constantly gaslighting you so so many times over and over again to the point where a lot of the base actually believes this now. They're like, yeah, it's the Republicans that are against police. And it's just such a weird watching it as you grow up. I feel like I remember t- hearing my parents talk about how crazy politics were and just how like they constantly flip flop and the Democrats and Republicans constantly flip flop. And I just never saw it. But as you grow up and you watch it right in front of your face, you just see how quick these people will lie straight to your face. These same people will come out and say, I didn't actually say that. What are you talking about? You're taking me out of context, as Papa says. Uh, you're basically a white supremacist, Russian disinformation czar.